Okay, when at the discharge position, you have the ability to open and close the discharge valve, charging whatever piece of equipment that you're charging. Um, I'll close that. And with the valve closed, you have the opportunity to go back to the load position. Uh, the drum will automatically pull out of the equipment. It'll slew back, invert to the upright position, and land itself back in the load position. The post lift is very simple to operate. We have one selector switch here that will clamp the drum, it'll bring it to the discharge position, and it'll bring it back to the load position and unclamp the drum, all with one switch. So here we are on the way to the discharge position. The lift, inversion, and slew is all automatically controlled all very precisely controlled, has electronic feedback, it actually knows where it is. Uh, it's not just stopping on limit switches, it has position sensing and knows where it is every step of the way. Down to a small fraction of an inch. Uh, lift resolves down to about three thousandths of an inch. Uh, slew uh, resolves down to about one tenth of one degree and inversion is also one tenth of one degree. So we're going to slew over to the discharge position. It'll automatically lower very accurately. It slows down, ramps. The slowing and ramping is how you attain very fast speeds with accurate positioning. It'll, when it gets close to its discharge position, it'll run a motion profile and stop very accurately. Okay, at this point we can open and close the discharge valve, discharging the contents of the drum. You close the valve. When the valve is closed, you switch the load position selector switch back and it will automatically come back to the load position. Automatically invert to the upright position. It requires no operator intervention, requires no skill from the operator. The operator can't do anything wrong with any of the buttons. They can't crash the machine. If the machine is stopped in any position, it will stay exactly where it is for an indefinite period of time. It will not drift down over the course of time. If at any point, on the way to the load position or the discharge position, the reset button is pressed, the machine will stop exactly where it is, and you're in dead man mode. You have to hold and release the selector switch when in dead man mode. Right now you can switch back to the discharge position or switch to the load position. Let's raise it a little higher. And when back in the load position, it'll automatically go back into automatic mode where you could just switch it to the discharge position and it'll continue all the way through without any operator intervention. Very simple operation. You can't do anything wrong. If you press and hold the reset button for five seconds, it'll enter manual mode of operation and it blinks out one blink, one slow blink, one fast blink, and at that point you can clamp and unclamp the drum. Press the button one more time and you'll be lifting in manual mode. Press the button one more time, you invert in manual mode. Press the button one more time and you're, you'll be slewing in manual mode. We'll slew it back.
Now, it cycles through that. If you press it one more time, it goes to clamp, unclamp. Now, with the drum cradle unclamped, we'll press and hold the reset button for five more seconds, it'll go into teach mode, and that's how you configure its positions. Okay, two slow blinks, one fast blink. So now we'll position the drum cradle up or down for the load position. We can manually slew it wherever you'd like the load position to be. Press the button one more time. It'll clamp the drum into position. And now we're teaching the slew height. We'll do a very short discharge position just for demonstration. Let's say that's our actual slew height. Press the button one more time. And the lift will slew into position. And once you have the lift approximately over the, the lift height, press the button one more time, and then lower to your discharge height. So this is where it's actually gonna be trained to stop. Now you can manually put it over a dust cap if you need a little bit of adjustment. Wherever we leave this right now is where it will stop at final discharge position. We press the button one more time, the whole sequence has been trained now. Now we're gonna return in dead man mode and it'll follow the reverse sequence of what we had trained in dead man and so the slew is the same we went to the same inversion height and we're going to lower to the exact height that we were at prior to teach so it's complete we can unclamp the drum we clamp the drum Hit it one more time, oh, let it time out, fully clamp, press the switch one more time, and it'll follow the same sequence, that abbreviated sequence that we have, and go to the same exact spot. And it'll do that consistently, even upon power cycle, until you do another teach sequence. So we'll slew to the same position that we were at before. And it'll come down to the exact same height that it was at before. And now we're in the same position where we finished our teach mode. And at this point, we can open and close the valve. And we can return back to the load position. And you can keep going back and forth like this um, indefinitely. So that's complete operation. Automatic control, manual control, and teach mode.